Well, police say they are diligently trying to figure out what prompted this shooting. And there are some new questions tonight about the additional attacks this suspect allegedly had planned. And of course, there are still concerns about these students who were gunned down. And what comes next? Few answers tonight in the investigation of a mass shooting at Michigan State. We must act and we will. But today, let's hold the MSU and East Lansing communities close. Police say a gunman came to the East Lansing campus on Monday night and killed three students, injuring others before he shot and killed himself. Police have recovered a weapon, but they still don't know what led to the suspect's actions. That's a, an unknown right now, and that's what we're trying to understand is, is why this incident occurred. The first calls of shots fired came in around 8.30 p.m. Monday, which prompted a campus-wide lockdown, students screaming as they ran to find a place to hide. Oh my God. Police say the gunman, 43-year-old Anthony McCray, first went to an academic building where he killed two students. Then he went to the MSU Student Union, where he shot and killed a third. Later, with the suspect on the run, police released these images. Then, around 11.35 p.m., someone called in a tip that led police to McCray's location, a home in Lansing, where he shot himself and died. Police say the suspect had no connection to the university. 43-year-old suspect had no affiliation to the university. He was not a student, faculty, staff, um, current or previous. Late today, police revealing McCray was found with a note in his pocket, threatening to shoot up two schools in New Jersey. Monday's events come less than a year and a half after a high school shooting in nearby Oxford, Michigan, where a 15-year-old student shot and killed four classmates. And I am filled with rage that we have to have another press conference to talk about our children being killed in their schools. If this is not a wake-up call to do something, I don't know what is. Now, five students who were shot and injured are still in critical condition tonight. This university will be on a modified schedule for the next two days. Then classes are canceled until Monday morning. So students here get the opportunity to access the mental health resources available, trying to process what happened here. At Michigan State University, Stephen Gowen, Fox 11 News.